Hello everyone, it's Jeremy GBS and today we are playing Stormworks and today I'm gonna present you a shape that I built for Frantic Challenge, the BC Challenge where you had to build um, a, a submarine tanker that was capable of holding a hundred thousand of fuel cargo and that could uh, travel a hundred kilometers without um, surfacing out of the water. So uh, here is the one that I built, in, and we are gonna be checking it out in this video with maybe other creation. Depends on the time it takes. So let's get on with it, shall we? So let's no clip inside. Yes, yes. Oh. So. Um, yeah, I could just... Okay. So, jump inside. Yes. I have no clip because it's faster, but... So, you got a way of getting in by the hatch on the top of the... On the floor, yeah, here. Or you can just take here the, this door and get in. And there is an automatic sas. You have to crunch it. There is a, an automatic sas that empties the water automatically. So here you can open this. You can open this, and you can deploy the ladder that deploys here. You just have to jump. You do this, close this up, and you walk. Onto here you can see the ballast tanks, and here you've got hoses. Um, shit, wait, let's drop this. Here you've got hoses that you can attach, and you can fire water inside if there is a fire because it's a tanker. So yeah. Okay, duck, duck. You've got two of them. Here you've got equipment, fire extinguishers, defibrillator, ropes, ropes, uh, welding torch, underwater welding torch, here flashlight, etc. etc. And you've got first aid kits and voilà. so here is a, a passenger seat. You see there and you can control the ballast, fill them or empty them. Here you've got the lights. So here you can see that the life has switched on. Here it's nothing. So um, on the other side you've got um, ship system controller. Here nothing, nothing. Here this is a fuel um, level of uh, our engines. Here you've got bilge pumps in case of water it gets in the hull. Here you've got the engine um, data. And here we've got the cargo fuel level. So yeah, here we've we've uh, we have spawned with all our fuel in. And because I didn't have enough space to put them, I've put it two beds on the roof. You can sleep in here. And yeah, beds. So here you've got the driver's seat. So um you to start you just have to set the end the throttle to full but after you've started you need to put it back at 75 because uh, the engine will be the boat will, will be uh, really bad so we've got a bow thruster here yeah, uh, well. so it's pretty fast because it has to be at least going at a hundred kilometers per hour. So now slow us down to 75 and we can die by simply doing this. Or you can feel the ballast if you want to dive and yeah so we're diving. There are wheels in order to here you see receive us on the ground and where when you are underwater it will start Speeding up, we've got front spotlights, side spotlight, and ground mags. You see, there are mags here that deploys and attach you to the ground where you are not moving. 
so it's going really really fast because this is meters per second and uh, yeah 71 72 and yeah so if you want and the fuel is going really is going down really slow we are really fuel efficient but if you want you can even slow down more to around uh, 60 and you will be more fuel efficient and you will be still really fast like you see so here there is a depth indicator and um, yeah wow here you've got um, the ballast and the cargo fuel and here are our normal fuel that are also right here and here so you see it's going down here we've got the engine pressures, engine temperature. Oh my, the engines are cold. Two degrees, that's, that's weird. Here you've got the engine RPS, and you see we are going uh, quite slow. So let's speed it up a bit. No. More. There we go. So, uh, I will, now we'll fill the bars because we want to stay at the bottom of the ocean. And the ballast, I will show you. The ballast are being filled with the, some with some pumps here that are pumping in the water, and they are being emptied by pumps that are pumping pumping out the water. So you can see here it's filling, and um, the backwards there is the engine room. It's hard to access because, um, because there's a very difficult way to do this. So you just can barely see what's going on here, but you can see the engine, the, all the engine information. So close this up. Uh, here, behind this, there are bus tanks, and oh, this is not connected. Oh. I might have to sort this out, but we will now surface because the ballast tanks are oh they are not fully I guess yeah we are too deep down to surface, so we just have to put the fins back up and we start we will start going back up and when it's going like this it's wobbly slow down a little bit because um, fuel stability can be really bad so let's go up not too much no no go back up keep going up keep going up keep going up keep going up slow down there we go So now our ballast tank are empty. We'll keep going uh, at a certain speed. Uh, well, you know what? Let's stop completely. And um, yes, yeah, the ballast are emptying quite slowly. It's difficult to make them empty quick. So are they filling? No. What? The okay. Drop this down, and you. I will show you that you can pilot the the ship, the whole ship, from the oh shit, no clip. You know what? Jump in the seat. There we go. So you can control um, the yo from here. See, and the bow thruster. The wheels are turning also too. Easy. So the bow thruster, yeah, it's doing a bit of stability issues, but it's fine, it's fine. So there we go. And there is a winch at the back that you can, so, winch down. And you can winch up also. And here there is a le an electrical connector, but behind me, there are different things that you can attach to this connector 
to connect to other sim. Yeah, that's complicated, but here you've got muggles, connector, and a sliding connector gripper. And you can activate them with um, three. And there you go. So now let's go back outside, open this up. You see when water is inside, this door gets locked to not fill up water the rest of the ship. So we can leave this open. And here you oh my just what is happening? So here you've got come on So here you've got hoses to empty the the cargo tank here and fill empty or to fill them with the um, with other on the other side, no, that's to in this this side is for the cargo tank and this side is for the fuel tank. And yeah, so now I will show you something just to be quicker. I will show you something quite interesting that I found it uh, recently, and I will show you what it is. So let's just start up. Yes. Full speed ahead. And I think you just have to do this. Um, is it working? I don't know. Oh, I think it's working. Look, we are slowly taking off. And voila. We are flying submarine. So you can just scroll down a bit and keep going forward like this. So you can turn barely, no, not really, but yeah, you can. Well, that's something. And now, if I just do this and then I go back down, go down, please. Okay, we are slowly going down. Yes. This might not end up good. Oh, yes, yeah, it's okay. So, go down completely, but let's just see how well it's, it's countering the waves. Or go full speed in the waves and. Wait, where is the north? We need to go north. No, it's fine. So, waves, 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 please. I said please. And you see that it's doing completely fine with the waves, it's like it's going under and then back outside and yeah, it's really fine. Well it's if I get out of my seat it's not really stable in here but yeah. You see it's a bit stable but well it's wavy so that's why and and then if you want to slow down you want to stop you just stop and you're fine too it will get under the, the water because it's heavy and but it's made for it there's like it's um, made to be perfectly um, buoyed in the water so um wait how much time have I recorded now um, 40 minutes I think I'm gonna end this here so thank you guys for watching I hope you guys enjoyed it I will fix the little pipe right there I will fix it here because it's not connected so yeah and I think I will see I hope I will see you guys in the next one Goodbye.